Hey everybody, it's Sean Kennedy for Open Visual Effects. Thanks for coming by another quick tutorial. This one's going to be on Face Builder, a new tool uh, from a company called Keen Tools. And they, they've made this tool for a while for other programs. And it's finally come to Blender, which is really exciting, really surprised me. I didn't even know it was in development for Blender. Uh, and I've used this tool a lot at work uh, on a lot of TV shows and stuff to create instant not instant but really fast copies of actors faces like pretty pretty uh accurate face geometry and head geometry which is super helpful when you're tracking on you know face things whether it's makeup or wounds or you know subdermal veins and def deformations and things like that so uh, i thought i'd give you a real quick rundown of exactly how this works uh, just to kind of get you started. Uh, I'm using uh, version 2.81a of Blender, the latest stable, and I've got the tool installed already. There's uh, instructions on their website uh, on how to install it, which is super easy. It's just an add-on and then you have to download another little library of all their custom code that they can't give away free. And then you just reference, kind of point to it in the add-on uh, when you install it. Super easy. Instructions are all there. Once you do it, you hit N, you got your properties panel and down here at the bottom there's a new tab called face builder and the only button there so far is create a new head so let's select everything and delete it with x and create a new head yeah i've used this tool for a while i really hope that uh there's a tool called uh face tracker that comes along with uh kind of their package in in other software uh mainly nuke is what i use it in and uh man if face tracker can make it to blender that would be spectacular so you can see now we've got a head. It kind of gave us this really basic head uh, with really nice geometry. If you take a look at the wireframe, you can see it has really nice geometry, uh, exactly what you want for a head. Uh, but we don't need to look at that. And you can see that once the head's there, uh, it gives you a whole bunch of other options now in the tool. We're only going to worry about a couple. You can you can get deep and look into camera settings and the re, you know reading the EXIF data of all the images you bring in and blah blah blah. But we're just going to do this uh, quick, keep things moving, get things done. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you have to use, uh, they recommend seven images to get a pretty accurate uh, face model based off of uh, an actor or actress, whatever. Uh, seven's a good round number. I guess it would work with less, uh, but the more you have from different angles, the better. Uh, they recommend, uh, I think, like front, a few three quarters, a little bit above, a little bit below, side, things like that. So I've got a few. And uh, ideally, they're all from the same source so that all the images are the same, uh, you know, resolution, pixel ratio, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that'll work best. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and we're not going to worry about any of this stuff except for this big add images button right now. Click the add images. I'm going to go to my images. I've got seven of them that I pulled from an image uh, sequence that I'll be releasing in a future tutorial. And I'm going to open these seven images and it kind of gives them, uh, it almost looks like layers here, right? Where each one is here. And there's some options. Uh, you don't even have to worry about those. All you have to worry about is this little eye, right? So I'm just going to click a little eye on the first one and it's going to go to this new view. So what it just did is it made a camera that's kind of looking at the face geometry. Now I'm going to start placing pins using left click. You can see down here a little helper. Uh, this is really all the things you need to know is left click is creates a pin to drag around, right click deletes a pin and tab will uh, hide or show the wireframe mesh. Uh, on all, this is just a blender camera, so all your uh, tools kind of work the same. You know, you can pin around the screen, zoom in and out, whatever. But you don't want to adjust the camera. The tool is going to adjust the camera for you. All you're going to do is start placing these pins and dragging this geometry around until the geometry matches the actor's face. The first three pins, I believe this is correct, uh, the first three pins kind of set the camera. They kind of get the perspective right. Uh, and the scaling right and stuff like that and then the pins you add after that once you've added more than three it starts warping the face the the geometry in a very uh, very smooth way a very nice way so let's just dive right on in I'm gonna start with the nose I like to start with I always like to start with the nose and then the eyes as well so I'm gonna grab the, this eye and drag it right here and I'm gonna drag this eye and grab it right here corners of the eyes 
the nose you can see we kind of shifted on the nose a bit but that looks pretty good right there so as you can see it's not right yet right so let's grab the chin and drag that down to where our actor's chin is if we if we hit tab you can see this chin is here and this is not too bad and then what I like to do is well I'm gonna hit the nose again to make sure we're kind of getting it right so now you can see it's actually matching the perspective up pretty good right it's getting kind of close um, just off these few pins right so that's not too bad it's getting there but of course we're not right yet so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the ears I'm gonna try and grab right on the lobe and kind of drag it down to where his earlobe is here I'm gonna grab this one and drag it into where this one is here and the chin looks like it needs a bit more tweaking and that's really all this is is you just kind of do this uh, and the more you add the more detail it's going to get and so here you can see like this chin is pretty close I'm sorry not chin jawline is pretty close this one's a little off so let's grab this one and move it in a little bit and then let's also grab this one and move it in a little bit and that looks pretty good and I'm actually going to grab uh, his eyebrows are a little low to where these eyebrows are, uh, but I'm going to leave that go. I'm going to grab his eyes kind of, kind of, you know, bend down sort of by the time they hit the outside edge. So I'm going to clear, grab that and drag it down a little. And I'm going to grab this one and drag it down a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Make sure these are as good as I can get them. That looks pretty good. And we can go, if you want to, uh, obviously the more you tweak the better it will look uh, the better the final model will be um, I'm move this down here a bit and I'm gonna get his mouth kind of in place All right let's pin that bring up this corner a tiny bit and this one down a tiny bit and that's looking pretty good the only thing kind of off now is his ears and his neck so I'm going to drop a pin here just to hold it, and I'm going to grab this one and kind of move it out. And that looks pretty good. Drop another one here to hold it and move this one out a bit, and then I can even, if I want to, move this one out of touch, which looks nice. Move this one out again a little. And let's dial in those ears, and then you can see that we're doing a pretty dang good job, right? Super easy, and you could do this. If you're, uh, if you're an experienced Blender user, and you know the tools really well you can do this without this plugin uh, you could do it using just a uh, you know if you have a nice base mesh and you start uh, pulling vertices around just using a soft fall off or uh, using uh, there's a tool called Laplacian smooth which uh, you can attach hooks to it and do like a smooth fall off and kind of move things around but so there are ways but this just makes it so easy all right so now we've got this kind of lined up it looks pretty dang good um let's go ahead to the second one you just click on it and it's a different perspective same actor same shot everything just i had him moving his head around and now we're just going to do the exact same thing and really that's all this is is you just do this uh on as many images as you have seven is a is a great round number and uh, and once you're done, uh, it'll even try and texture it for you, which we will get to for sure. Uh, look at that. And once you've once you've got it, the more you the more of these you line up and you refine that model, you can see it's already starting to line up pretty good. Uh, like the model just seems to fit better, uh, and that's really nice. You can kind of see it improving as you go, which is really cool. So I'm going to lock that chin down again right here, and I'm going to pull that ear out here. And we get pretty close, right? Uh, the first time you mess with this, it's really amazing. It's It almost feels like uh, you know magic that it's just uh, moving things around like that and lining things up so easily and so quickly. Really cool tool. So now I'm going to start adding in more pins. And... Um, Let's see, let's see on this nose here. We can pull this up in here a bit. Pull this here. And uh, it looks like his nose, if, you, if I hide this, you can see his nose kind of comes out. He's got a, so I'm going to kind of pull that up a bit. There we go. 
and I'm thinking we're all right with that. And let's pin his mouth right there. And move this up a bit and move this down a bit. And what else? What else? What else? Let's uh, let's do this part here. Grab that. And these little green lines, they mean um, what they what that means is uh, it's kind of it's showing your original spot on the geometry where you place that pin because it's going to slide them around a bit uh, as you adjust them um, because it's trying to keep uh, it's trying to keep everything kind of working right it's trying to keep the camera perspective working it's trying to keep the uh, the model size and shape working so to do that sometimes it has to slide things around a tiny little bit uh, I'm going to move this ear in here like that, and this one out here like that, and leave that there. So that ear is pretty locked down. Pretty much the only thing we don't have locked down is this whole side of his head. So I'm going to grab up here, see what this can do. Drag this in a bit. All right. Uh, I'm going to drag this in a bit. Uh, see, I don't like how it's... Uh, I'm going to right-click and delete that one. What if I delete the chin? Uh, what if I delete this guy? Uh, move the chin down again and I've got a lot of pins in here and I don't I feel like that's kind of messing it up if I do that for some reason I feel like it's moving the geometry too much and not adjusting the perspective enough but that's all right it looks pretty good this is pretty close another thing to keep in mind is that as you do these it may have adjusted the first one a tiny bit so you can always go back to your previous ones and continue cleaning those up uh, as far as how they've been uh, shifted based on lining up some of the other images. Uh, you know, just go back and refine again, uh, which is really easy to do. Get that nose out there a bit more. That looks pretty good. Pull this in a bit more. That looks great. So let's go to the next one. And I think what I'm going to do now, I think you've got the idea. I think I'm going to fast forward here just to keep this uh, as short as I can. And I will come back when I've finished up that last one and we'll uh, take a look at the model and make the texture. So. Okay, I'm back, and you can see I've got all of these lined up now. They're not all perfect, uh, but I think they're enough to give you the, the general idea of what we're doing here. Uh, and again, like I said, you can go back and tweak them if you want. Uh, uh, it's been moving, you know, as we do it, it's been moving the model around a little bit. So you can go back and kind of refine it if you want, which I'm doing here on one frame. Um, but I'm not going to get too into it in this. Uh, obviously, the more you, time you spend refining, the better your model will, model will be overall. So there we go. We've got it. And if we go into our regular 3D view just by hitting the, uh, the mouse, you know, just the middle mouse button and taking a look at it, you can see it's very different from when we started. And I could even bring in uh, the, uh, another face builder head just got by going to the add menu and bring it in and you can kind of see how different they've become um, even if I scale that one down a little bit to match you can see those are definitely two different people right so you can see how much it's moved the shape of the of the model around uh, from its original uh, incarnation so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one select this guy go back into our image here Come on, go back in and now the only other thing we're going to concern ourselves with is the texture 
um, which I'm going to go ahead and hit create texture. This takes a little bit, so uh, actually let me go into 3D view and do this. Uh, and that way I can see when this pops back on, it'll be done. Um, but I'm going to hit create texture, and you're going to see it's going to bring up a little panel. Uh, which images do you want to use to create the texture? I'm going to use them all, and it'll try and smartly blend them all. And I'm just going to hit OK, and I'm going to wait a little bit, and I'll come back, and you will see the finished model. And there you go. You can see the model based off of our actor and now textured. And it looks pretty dang good, right? There's some holes, of course. There's some problems uh, with the general texture. But if you were going to do anything to this actor's face, if you were going to track it in or do wounds or do anything, this is a great base mesh to start off of. You can take a look at the map here and, take, and see exactly uh, what it did. And... The, uh, the unwrap it comes in with it's a pretty pretty good unwrap pretty standard for a head and the model or the map I'm sorry that it makes it looks pretty good as a starting point of course you can save this out tweak it in a 2d program bring it back in whatever you want to do so that's it that's face builder uh, that is how you build a face from uh, a matching geometry face from a few images thanks for checking it out and stay on top of keen tools keep an eye on them when it does come out uh, officially, I don't think it's going to be free. I think it'll probably be a paid add-on, but I thought I'd share it now and show you how to get into it while it is free. Uh, so yeah, thanks.